far with uh, Richard Sipley and Dave and uh, uh, Gareth and myself. And one of the things that was mentioned as we were talking is sometimes you have to keep a sense of humor uh, to cover your own mistakes and maybe others uh, because you're dealing with serious situations most all the time. And if you're not uh, careful, you can just get too serious. And uh, God's got a sense of humor with us, dealing with us and putting up with us. But I just want to encourage you to enjoy the Lord. Uh, revival, as I said, the very first day can be rough. But the point is to bring us back to the place where we're supposed to be in the presence of the Lord, with the joy of the Lord. The early church was born in revival, lived in revival, thrived without, with uh, revival, and then began to die without it. It's a lifestyle of walking in the Spirit of the Lord. And that's what we have gone off so far off the path that we're just asking God to meet with us here. Tune us up. If he can take, take care of us here, he can get to others out there. Um, we have a friend of uh, Greg's that's going to come up and uh, share some music with us. I guess he's a friend of yours, Greg. I just met him and shook his hand. Um, I think he's a cowboy. He, uh, he had a cowboy hat on. I actually own two Stetsons myself. No horses or no cowboy boots, but I uh, spent, I uh, was just counting up, about 17, 18 years in Colorado and Wyoming and Nebraska. My wife's from western Nebraska out in cattle country. Uh, so... <laughs> Say that again. All, all hat and no cattle. All hat and no kelt. No cattle. No cattle. Yeah. I used to have two cows. <laughs> they got them by default. Trevor uh, Baker, why don't you come on up and uh, give us whatever you've got for us. I think uh, I saw a guitar back here, so I got an idea that it's going to have something to do with music. And um, we'll just see what the Lord has for us this evening. I don't even know where he's from. I guess you're from somewhere, aren't you? <laughs> okay, introduce yourself and say something about yourself, Trevor. from a little town in uh, Saskatchewan uh, called Tuxford. Uh, it's about 100 people. <laughs> I live on Main Street, though. <laughs> um, uh, God, uh, I wasn't raised in church. <laughs> church. Uh, I was suicidal in my early 20s. My best friend took his life. Um, and I met a preacher at a wedding. And uh, he melted my heart. And uh, I didn't grow up with a guitar in my hand. I was uh, we watched a video last night um, there was a few preachers on there, David Wilkerson and some others. Um, there's a guy on there named Carter Conlon, if you remember. Uh, we went to his church uh, in Riceville, Ontario, and uh, where he started, they bought a church for a dollar. The birds are flying through the windows. It would uh, seat maybe 100 people. And we went there because we thought we were supposed to run the food bank, which we did. But I uh, spent a lot of time praying. Um, there's been different speakers talked about places they'd been in, in, in revivals and things. Well, the closest I was was there for six years. Um, I can remember walking in the church and you'd almost fall on your knees. When, so there had to be something there. And it was there, uh, praying a lot. Um, 
God gave me a gift, I guess. I took three guitar lessons and uh, I learned three chords. <laughs> I sang mostly on street corners and uh, beer tents at fairs for years, thus the hat, I wore it for protection. <laughs> and, and now if I take it off, I feel like it's like singing in your boxers or something. I just feel, <laughs> don't feel right. And, but I used to sing in the beer tents and we'd give out CDs for free at the back and people pretended they weren't listening, but they took a lot of CDs. <laughs> I'm just going to sing two songs. Um, I don't usually sing without the guitar, but uh, God gave me a song last year on my 25th uh, anniversary of being a Christian. It was May the 8th. And uh, it's just called Bring Me Back. It's kind of a personal song, but I think it could also apply to a nation. Bring Me Back and a church age, please bring me back. Picked up your Bible and realized that you were true. I can't forget the way I felt inside. I was free from all my sin and foolish pride. I couldn't wait to tell a stranger how you turned things right side up. Once they tasted of your goodness, they'd never get enough. I used to walk out in the woods and we would chat. It was simple then. Lord, bring me back. The world was always calling, come over to our side. Thought it strange I wouldn't go along and join them for the ride. Those moments when I'd lay my armor down. In an instant, you'd always come around. But somewhere I lost a step, most times it doesn't show. I can't explain the way I feel, but you're God, I'm sure you know. It's not a formula or a theory that I lack. I just need you, Lord, bring me back, bring me back to where it all began. When I first heard your voice, when I first held your hand, bring me back to how it used to be. Special times, just you and me. Lord, bring me back. Like a child, I was dependent. When I'd stumble, I would cry. When my heart was filled with questions, you'd so readily comply. Like a father would reach down to his son. This was so new to me, like life had just begun. I remember how your house was a refuge to my soul. But years of tiring service have somehow took their toll. It's so much more than getting back on track. It's my heart, Lord, bring me back. The 
shadow of your presence is where I need to hide. A broken heart that seeks you has never been denied. I know that sounds like such a simple task, but I'm so weak, I barely have the strength to ask. I want to see the lost like I did so long ago. And the mention of your name would move my heart and thrill my soul. In the early years, it always felt like that. Now I'm asking, Lord, bring me back. Bring me back to where it all began. When I first heard your voice, when I first held your hand, bring me back to how it used to be. Those special times. You and me, Lord, bring me back. fully protected. That's good. Um, I have a song. It's, uh, it's new. Uh, it's an updated version from an old uh, song. I think this, the lyrics in this are stronger than the one uh, from before. This one's called uh, I'm Hanging on a Spike. I think it's called, no, I just, that's the, the nail thing. Sorry. <laughs> only have one joke, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and it, and it, it didn't work, so. <laughs> um, 11 years ago, uh, God told me to leave the, I worked on farms as a hired hand for years, and uh, he said to set out across Canada and sing, and I had a lot of songs about Canada, song for a nation, where are the good men, and all those. Um, but you know, there'd be so many people at the back, they'd always be shaking your hand, go, that's right, there's something wrong. But when you talk about the church, saying there's something wrong, nobody ever said anything to you about that. I started to see, and I don't think I'm the only one, change a country, you gotta change the church. And uh, it feels like it's our last trip through Canada. I basically was looking for people to pray this year. And I've been getting a lot of songs about America. And uh, this song here is just called, Will America Pray? Staggering to think where this world would be today If there were no missionaries, no one ever prayed The peace that we have left can be attributed to this When the hand of God was moved, it took more than just a wish Stories by the thousands, men and women who felt called To launch a thing much bigger than any militant assault In the back rooms, in the closets, by their bedsides in the dark The power they tapped into 
was sure to make its mark. The thought that lingers now, or at least the way it looks, it may be confined to history, something only read in books. The only thing to change that is conviction in the heart. And opened eyes to see that we're way past the time to start. Will America pray? Does she remember how Will she began today? Yeah, we're talking now. Will her knees still bend? Can her heart still ache? Are there any left? Who are still away We all know she has a lot to say But will America pray? Time is of the essence And I think we all know why What's needed here today Is not some casual reply Will you answer if you're listening? Can we have a show of hands? But those who aren't too busy With their dreams and foolish plans With the way that we do church today This ideal may not fit And our pride in higher learning Are sure to take a hit but how can we be Christian and declare we know the way? It doesn't hold much water if we're all taught and we don't pray. Will America pray? She remember how she began today. Yeah, we're talking now. Will her knees still bend? Can her heart still ache? Are there any left who are still away? We all know she has a lot to say, but the question is, will America pray?